Hi, I'm Steve Stedman and welcome to this short video tutorial on using the T-SQL date part function with Microsoft SQL Server. Date part function, and this is pretty straightforward. It's a function you call and you give it a parameter up front and we'll look at all the different parameters that are there and you pass in a date and you can use date set as a variable but in this case I'm going to be using just the get date function so we can look at the current one. But what you're passing in could be a time, a date, a small date time, a date time, a date time two, or a date time offset. So pretty much any of the date or time objects in SQL Server could be passed in. Here I've broken it out in a number of functions. I'm just gonna highlight the first part here and run get date part of year for the current, for get date, which is right now. When we run that, we can see it takes the date that it's given and it extracts the year from it and it gives us 2015. The options we've got here, we've got year, which gives us what we want there, quarter, month, day of year, day, week, weekday. Now, the weekday will give you like Sunday through Saturday, day of the week, as an integer. And that's the thing, the return value from all these is, is an integer. You'll get the hour, minute, second, millisecond, microsecond, nanosecond, and ISO week. Let's take a look. We'll try running this and see what we get. As our results now, the year is 2015. It's the first quarter of the year. It's the third month. It's the 78th day of the year right now. It's the 19th of the month. It's the 12th week. It's the fifth weekday. So today's Thursday. Wednesday would have been the fourth. Tuesday would have been the third. Monday would have been the second. And Sunday would have been the first. So it's one through seven for the days of the week for Sunday through Saturday. We've got the hour, minute, and second of our time here. And then there's a couple other ones here that the microsecond and the nanosecond and then the ISO week. So it's in the 12th ISO week of the year. It really doesn't matter what your collation is set to or what the local date time format is. If you're asking for the day or the hour or the week, you're going to get it back from that date time or date or any of those different objects there well appropriately.